Hello, welcome back to Strictly Speaking. I am Janet Snakehole Macklin. And I am Poppy Snakehole Macklin. Week two. Week two. Oh my goodness, what did you think? I loved it. You loved it? Mm Mm-hmm. Did you have to sleep on it to think about it? I, I loved it. I slept on it, and I still loved it. I mean, oh, was, it, was it perfect? No. But, you know, what is? I mean, other than, you know, <laughs> Ellie's Foxtrot. Yes! Oh, my gosh. That was so good. Because you know, the song was called Perfect, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's good. I like that play on words. <laughs> okay. Um. So, <laughs> what did you think? I think it was really good. I think my favourites were probably Ellie and Vito, Bobby and Diane, mm-hmm. um, and who else? And Angela and Kai. Oh, love that. Those were my three favourites. Okay, so before we talk about all the dancers individually, let's start off by talking about the first... Hang on, I'm just going to get up the page so I can remember what all of the dances were. So... Unfortunately, we um, did lose our first couple tonight. I mean, we were recording this on Sunday. Um, it's probably, you know, Monday or Tuesday by the time you're watching this. But, yeah, we lost our first couple. Um, yeah. Was anyone surprised? Not really. I feel mean saying that, but not really. I mean, when we found out it was a samba, I think that's when it just went a little bit wrong. I sent, I sent you a message like, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. But... Indeed. Yeah, um, but I mean, I'm honestly, it's. I mean, it sucks because I really, I really like Les. I think he's such a, he's such a like you know cheerful guy, and he's so lovable. But you know, it's just that's just you know. Uh, uh he to be he did do good. He did hit well, all the I mean, right I moves. I wouldn't quite say that. He did do it all, and he was entertaining. So yeah. you've got to give him that. Yeah, personality, one hundred percent. The dance, I yeah. Mean, <laughs> I mean, I've seen I've seen worse dances. Exactly. Yeah. I, know I mean, you know, it's all kind of gonna. You know, it's not gonna be the best dance when they come like floating down onto the dance floor. I can't think of a single time that someone has you know, someone has you know floated down from the sky on something and then it's actually ended up you know going well for them. Yes. I mean, my my, yeah, my, my immediate my thoughts fun. go to Tony last year on the cannon. Oh gosh, yeah. But I was a true supporter of Tony. I voted for him each week. Yeah, but the thing, yeah, I mean, the thing is, I actually do. Um, yeah, Les is such a such a sweet guy. I mean, I, I I feel I do feel kind of bad for him. You know who else? Like, I feel really bad for Nancy as well. Yeah. I mean, two time semi finalist <laughs> to you know first out. Oh yeah. Who did she have last year? She had Will last year, and she had Reese the year before, and they both went out in the semi-final. Oh, yeah. I mean, Will shouldn't have oh. gone out. On, Will shouldn't have gone out in the semi-final, but, you know, still, it's the kind of a curse. <laughs> yes. Well, she might She might have someone get to the final next year. You never know. Yeah. Um. And win it. You never know. <laughs> Well, I, I actually, you know, my, my, I, have a, I have a list of pros that need to get a grip my, my top priority is Diane. My second one is probably Johannes. My third is probably Nikita. Nancy will probably some, come sometime after that. Oh, right, and, and okay. And Amy, of course. But Amy, <laughs> Amy, who obviously isn't here that, that, that year, this year. So, yeah, um, that's my, but I have a list. That's just my list of pros that I need to see with the grip at some point. So, you know. Okay. Okay, um, so... I mean, also, I mean, I remember last week I said about, um, we went with the agreement that um, Bobby is going to win and Les is going to be first out. So we got half of that right. So, you know, fingers yes. crossed. Fingers crossed Bobby's going to win still. Yeah, I mean, I think he's had, he has a good chance. Okay, so. Um, 100%. So we have Les. Les went out, unfortunately. Um, the yeah. other person in the dance of was Nikita. I was not. Were you surprised? I wasn't. I wasn't particularly surprised, mainly because she's also not that well known. Yeah, I was honestly like, I, I, I thought if it's not, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be, it's gonna be some combination of Nikita, Les, and Jody. Yes, that's what I was thinking, but I didn't want Jody to go in the dance off. 
Yeah, but the thing is, Jody, he's the the fact that he he's got six thousand seven hundred and sixty six Instagram followers, which wow is not that many for someone who's on Strictly. That's why I was kind of expecting him to be in the dance off. Mm. I mean, it's still a lot though, and I love how you've remembered that. Have you written that down or remembered no, I just, that? No, I, I was just looking. I mean, I was. I mean, if you compare it to you know someone like Bobby, who hang on, um, Bobby is currently at two hundred and seventy k. Oh, and so wow, yeah. And here, I, I'm just looking. I'm just looking up random. Um, yeah, Nikita's at thirty four k. So yeah, it's a, it's a certain you know that's that's one of the reasons. I don't know why I'm talking about. I'm just reading out numbers, but I mean, um, like, <laughs> like Claudia last year, really, like <laughs> yes, the leaderboard is like this. It's like this. They got thirty four, twenty four, twenty two. I'm just reading out numbers. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we're here to talk about the dancing. Okay, so um, Nikita, what do you think of Nikita's dance? I think um, I think it I think it was good. I mean, she didn't have much swivel yet, but she did look more confident than last week. So I think that improved, and especially in the dance off, because you notice her energy was so much more. Yeah, we 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 would we would not notice that. Like she's given it her all. Like she does not want to go home. Yes. 100%. Yeah, the thing about what I thought was the dance, I mean, the thing about the dance, I remember, um, the thing is, I don't, I don't think it was really a good song to do a Charleston to. Yeah. I mean, when you think of that, I mean, it's more of a couple's choice or like a, you know, also, I mean, the worst crime of all, they didn't do the single ladies dance. Pardon? They didn't do the whole, you know, do 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 do. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, they didn't. What on earth? You can't do it. You can't dance to single ladies and not do that. And on it takes two. They said. I'm pretty sure they said they were gonna do it. On it takes two, and they didn't. What the hell? Oh. That's, that's, oh, no. that's a crime. Criminal. Like. Criminal. But, okay, but the thing. Okay, the thing about her. Um. Yeah, I think the choreography just wasn't really, you know, the best either. But yeah, because there was a lot of like kind of standing around and stuff, and not actually dancing. Yeah. Um. She also did. You could tell, like, you know, the first in the, on the night, you could tell she was. She. I mean, she was. It was better than last week, I'd say. But it's. Um. Yeah. She's still. You know. She's a lot more confident, and and that, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, she did look better than last week. Yeah, and the thing I found a bit weird was the fact that the the judges were all telling her, "Oh my god, you improved so much. This is a great improvement from last week." And then they gave they all gave her the exact same score. Yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> yeah, like, there was they some... made it seem like it was this big improvement, but then they just literally gave her the same score. Yeah, and you know, I, 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 what was on with Shirley tonight? She was being extra strict. Oh my gosh, yeah. I've got I've got stuff to say about that. She was yeah. Can we move on to Nigel and Katia already? I just, just so I can say, say how harsh. I was just about to say Shirley that. Was. Pardon? N- Nigel, yeah. Oh yeah, were you thinking of him as well? Like yeah. Shirley was just being so harsh. Yeah, I find it a bit weird. I mean, I, I mean, I liked I liked Nigel's dance, but the thing is, Shirley, I based on looking at you because I've, I've watched it twice. Um, yeah, Shirley was giving gave way more like negative critiques to Nigel than she did to Nikita, and yet she still scored Nigel higher. Exactly, and the way she said it was just a bit mean. I felt yeah, like, or a little bit hard. Like everyone's like, like, oh my god, this is such a beautiful dance. Like, oh yeah, this this was wrong. This sucked. Yeah, you need to work on this, this, this. This was terrible. And like, what? Yes, exactly. And it, but it made me realise how much I really like Anton as a judge. Yeah, he's such he's so, like he's, he's so fun. I love Anton. I want. I hope he stays as a judge for a very long time. Yes, me too. He's so good. Yeah, but you know the thing about Nigel. I mean, first of all, love the song. Love the song that they dance to. Yeah. My, I mean, me. You know, I've heard it a lot over the last you know three months. I've been on TikTok, <laughs> and <laughs> my my mum has n- never heard it, but she likes the song. So you know, it's a very it's a very good song. Um, yeah. I the thing about Nigel, he's good. He's very good. Almost a little bit too good. Yes. Because she can't see that improvement. Yeah, that's the thing because um people it's not going to be that interesting if if someone's you know good every single week uh, then 
I mean, yeah. last year, Hamza, I mean, yes, he had, he was, you know, top of the leaderboard most weeks, but he, there was also a few weeks where he struggled. And yes. Like, remember, he was like, you know, 34 week one, 24 week two, like, you know, it's all up and down. Nigel, I mean, yes, he, he was it as good, was his dance as good as last week? No, but it was still good. But yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm yeah. not saying that he might, you know, I'm not saying that he won't, you know, struggle in a few dances, but I mean, yeah, he's, he's, he's very good. I like, I like, I do like Nigel and I think he's going to go far. He is. But then I have seen, like, the thing is, is I have seen people say that he's got dance experience. Yeah, and also, so I've, also heard, I've also heard about, apparently, Amanda, who's got dance experience. I mean, Adam, Adam Thomas's wife is a dance teacher. Um, oh, yeah. I've heard a lot of, <laughs> obviously, there's Leighton, which we'll come back to, but, I mean, I just dropped something. And, um, <laughs> yeah, that's that's just, yeah, I mean, I do like, I do like Nigel, I mean... Do I think he might win? Maybe he might win, but I'm also, I'm still, you know, I don't know. It's too early to tell, but I'm still hoping for... Yeah. Okay, Um. so who else did we have? We had, um, let's talk about um, the winners of Strictly Come Dancing 2023, Bobby Brazier and Diane Buswell. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Their Charleston was so good. I thought it was amazing. Loved it. Yeah, okay, we're in agreement, that's great, good. Great way to open the show. I know, yeah, it was so good. It was literally amazing. Yeah, I don't I don't know what I would have given it. I probably would have given it, I'm between 7 and 8, I could say 7.5, I don't know. Because... I would, yeah, I would have given it 8 or 9, literally. It was maybe not really nine. good. I'd say, I'd say probably 7 or 8. Okay, well, we won't go too high then. I mean, that, <laughs> that, I like those, those lifts. I mean, that first lift, I thought it did look a little bit, you know... Yeah, but this, I mean, it was it was good, but it did look a little bit. The second lift, great though. Love, I mean, love the. Yeah. I love the dance. It's such a, so so fun to watch, and you know, great way to open the show. And you know, I hope I hope yeah. they go far because I hope they I hope they go all the way. <laughs> because, yes, me too. This is Diane's year, and this is going to be Bobby's year as well. So, um. That, um yes. But yeah, that's um. Yeah, I I really liked his dance um so you know um amanda yes so i mean i thought her dance was good however i don't think it was as good as the judges said it was oh okay I how mean, comes i don't know i just i don't know normally when i think i don't think i don't think it's bad or anything i do i did like it i don't like i mean yeah. obviously I, I don't you know i still don't care for her but i mean i, I love geo but it's just her legs were kind of, I don't know when I think of salsa I normally think of you know all these crazy spinny lifts and you know all this like, crazy death defying stuff and, and yeah. I just yeah. she, she just kind of you know I don't I, it wouldn't bother me the way her legs were like very far like, kind of far apart like her thighs were very far apart for most of the dance that kind of bothered me because it kind of you know <laughs> I don't know it's I, I I like it more now I've watched I've rewatched it a few times I do like it I just don't think okay. it was you know I just don't, I just didn't, you know, it wasn't quite my type of salsa. And I'm not just saying that because I don't like her. I, I would say that even if I did like her. I'm just saying. Um, so. Yeah. Like, I liked it, but at the end, I noticed it just looked, like, a bit weird at the end. Because it looked like she didn't know what she was doing at the end. Yeah, that's she, what she I kind of, kind of looked kind of like, oh, oh, yeah, I'm doing this now. Okay, cool. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was still good. It was still a good dance, though. I mean. I still don't. Yeah, think well, she, really good. I still think she might be, you know, kind of out, kind of early because of the whole thing that she's done. But you know, yeah, um, yeah, this dance was good. I will say that. I'm. I, yes. I she surprised me. Yes. I, yeah, yeah, it was good because we said last week we thought she was going to struggle in the Latin, so that's why she surprised me. Yes. Yeah, because we thought she would be like more ballroom, but yeah. Okay. Um. Then what about Annabelle? Well, you know, they're probably one of my favourite couples. I voted for them so, too, as well. I gave, did you vote for them? Yes. I gave one of my votes to Annabelle, okay? <clears throat> okay, well done, thank you. Good job. Yeah. You know, um, when I was watching the results show, I was like, okay, Bobby's through, Annabelle's through, Leighton's through, nothing else matters. Yes. Mainly Bobby's through, nothing else matters. Yeah. Bobby's through... Annabelle's through. Did you say Annabelle's through? Did you include that? Yes. Oh, good. You, yeah. 
All right. I can see her um, going far. But yeah, I'm rooting for her. Although her dance wasn't as good as last week's, no. but it was some good. I thought the bull pit thing was kind of random. The what was random? The whole bull pit thing. Oh yeah, that was a bit Don't random actually. I love about a bull pit. It. I mean, I love a bull pit. I mean, I'm I may be, you know, I'm 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 almost, you know. I mean, I'm I'm, you know, getting a bit older, but I still love a bull <laughs> pit. I, you know, I've, if I when I when I grow up and I have my own house, I'm going to ha- I'm going to have a bull pit <laughs> for myself. <laughs> you can have a room dedicated to a bull pit. <laughs> yeah, nice big bull pit. Even if I, if I don't have any kids, even if I don't have any kids, I'll have a bull pit. <laughs> For me. Okay, fair enough. That yeah. sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's just when they work come in lay in the ball pit. I love a ball pit. But what was <laughs> I just <laughs> I just thought it was kind of random, the ball pit for this kind of dance. Yeah, it was. <clears throat> it was a bit, yeah. Yeah, I mean also, how many play times of day they danced to walking on sunshine? I know I was thinking that. I'm just gonna hang on, I'm gonna look Literally, up. Literally, there's so many. Just gonna look up how many times they've done it. I'm walking on um, um I'm sorry, I'm typing sideways because I'm because I'm, you know, facing you towards the microphone. Um, <laughs> um, well, fine. do you reckon there'll be a, an actual figure of, about that? Yep. Um okay. Walk on sunshine yeah. strictly. Okay, so the class of twenty seventeen danced to walking on sunshine. <laughs> Abby Clancy and Aliash quick step to walking on sunshine. <laughs> Yes. Saffron Barker and AJ Sandler to Walking on Sunshine. Oh my gosh, yeah. Annabelle and Johannes, you know, quick to Walking on Sunshine that we just had. Ab- oh, yeah, the same yeah. one. Um, I thought I saw a thing about um, someone else, like Ashley Roberts, I thought, said something about. Hang on. Um, Walking on Sunshine Strictly. Let me try again. I thought I saw a thing the other day about Ashley Roberts, but I mean, I guess. Don't matter because then afterwards it just comes up with some other dances that don't really matter. Yeah, she might have done something. I'm, I thought. Oh, it got Bring Me Sunshine by Yu Game On Ye. <laughs> that's, that's not quite the same. Um, not quite the same, but along the right track. Basically, that, that's still four in the last, you know, um, five years or the last like ten years. That's still quite a lot. Yeah, that's still a lot. <laughs> that mean, is still a lot. To, compared to, you know, um, some songs that I would have, you know, I thought would have been more used. Pardon? I don't know, there's just some songs that I thought, you know, would have been used more, and then you've got Walking on Sunshine being used for, like, five, like, being used every year. <laughs> it's a classic. I know, it is a classic. Okay, um, then we had Jody. Yes. I mean, I voted for him. I felt so bad for him, and he did a good job. Um, well, I mean... It wasn't as good as last week. No, yeah. Also, I mean, it, it was strictly for, you know, finally recognising rock music. Yeah. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of rock music, but, you know, it's and you had, you had Nirvana last week and now we've got ACDC. Love that song, like, yeah. Thunderstruck. That is, that is you know, classic. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah, the dance wasn't the best. I, I was honestly, you know, thought he was going to be in the dance-off. Yeah, I thought he might be, and, and but I'm, I did vote for him, I was even thinking, though it wasn't the best. I was thinking, poor Yavita, like, I, I know I said, I'm going to say poor whoever the first eliminated pro is, but poor Yavita, because <laughs> then she would have gone from being being the reigning champ to being first out, and then probably would have started oh. that trend last year about, um, but yeah, that's, um, yeah, he's through, and I'm, I'm interested to see what he'll do next week. Yes. I don't know how he'll be with, like, the Latin dances. Yeah, I'm thinking he might, um, I'm just trying to think of, think of some, what he'd do for movie week. Maybe he could be, um, I don't know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of a movie that he'd be good at. I know, normally I have, like, a vision. Also, can we just say, um, actually, okay, I'll, I don't know whether to come back to this. Diane, right? Queen of movie week. What's, what, what are they yeah. going to do? Pardon? Um, what do you think Bobby and Diana are going to do for movie week? I don't know. I think I know what you're thinking, though. What? The Little Mermaid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? 
I mean, I was that I was thinking that a few weeks ago, but the thing about I mean, I know I don't think like nobody like has ever said this ever. I mean, except for maybe one person. Diane is kind of like I know she's the reigning queen of Halloween with she she and Johannes are like the king and queen of Halloween. But yeah. Diane is a is a, like a movie week legend. Yeah. Like you think about all the movie week routines she's done. Like um I mean, the first one got eliminated on. I remember that. I remember that dance. I remember Reverend Richard the flash dance. <laughs> Oh yeah! I remember oh that. Oh my gosh! I remember that, and that was that was. I mean, that was when I still, you know, referred to her as Ariel. But I mean, <laughs> I did, <laughs> did I you actually? That, because I I, did, I, did, I called her Ariel for like the first three years because I didn't know her name. But um. Oh. Okay. Then there was obviously the one with Joe. It's one of your favorites. So I'll need to rewatch it. But you know, Joe's American Smooth to High School Musical. Yep. Oh yeah. And then love that was, one. Then the, the year after, you know, the Aladdin dance. With Dan, yeah, which you know, classic. Yeah, classic. How how on earth did Dev go out the week four? I know that was a shock. Like she was, I think I remember on her Instagram stories and stuff, she was really upset about that, wasn't she? Well, I don't remember. I, I did have Instagram at that time, but I mean, I I I, saw, I did see the see the video on um YouTube, and I just seeing seeing how upset she and and he, how both of them were, especially her, like the way they they were crying, like. Something must have gone wrong that day. There's no, there's no way that they could have gotten the worst, the least amount of votes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, something, something happened with like the voting. The voting was hacked or something. <laughs> Maybe you never know. I, 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 saw, I saw something saying that they could, they, they couldn't get through to vote for them. Okay. Um. Oh? Then the week after, Simpsons dance. I remember that dance like like that that series that 2020 series has kind of faded into obscurity in my mind. However, I remember the Simpsons dance like it was yesterday. <laughs> yes, I remember that. Look, love it or hate it, I loved it. I've always loved it. I've rewatched it a lo- loads. <laughs> Have you? I liked it. I liked it too. Yeah, then obviously the week after with Robert, there was the Muppet dance. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot about him. I know, like... Yeah, Robert. I mean, I always wonder. I, I I did find it kind of weird how Robert basically, you know, I, I'm I, I'm 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 proud of him for you know, putting his health first, but I find it kind of weird that he basically disappeared. Like Adam, he when, basically... when Robert pulled out because that you know movie week, he you know he was on movie week. They did the Muppet dance, they got through, and then he pulled out on like the Wednesday, I think. Yeah. And then he was yeah. never heard of again. Like. And then he. He was literally never heard Sorry. of again. Like. No exit interview. He wasn't that there like in the final. Like literally, he wasn't. He was just gone. Oh, that's so weird. Like, I was watching the take. When I was watching the take, so I was like, how, how, like, did he not even like seriously do like a like an, an exit interview? Yeah, like a little BT or something. Mm. It's just like I found that was that's kind of weird. odd. I mean, I'm, I mean, of course, I'm proud of him for you know because you know his health is m- most important. But I mean, I just thought that was kind of weird. And then obviously, yeah. never forget last year, Tyler Charleston first tens of the series. Yeah, and yeah. You were you loved them, didn't you? Last year, loved it. I've rewatched it a bunch. <laughs> and also, a who bunch. can who can forget this classic? <laughs> so yeah, um, to sum up, I'm basically very excited to see what what Bobby is going to bring to Movie Week, and hopefully that they don't get um they don't get Richie'd lo- <laughs> They don't get Richie'd. Yeah, I'm hopefully using, I'm not. Using, I'm using Richie as a verb. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, felt bad for him as well. He looked so sad. Yeah, Vicky Gill, Vicky Gill, listen. You better not be putting you. Do not dress Gio up like a warthog again, okay? Okay. Yeah. Got yeah, it. Because then don't I'll, do that. Then not I will like, forgive you. A really warm outfit as well. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like just don't, please don't. He deserves better than that. I mean, he deserves better because he's with you know turf. But I mean, he deserves better for movie <laughs> week. Okay, um, <laughs> moving on, okay. What about... Oh, dear. Gee, we have a lot to get off from. We've been talking for way too long. Okay, Ellie Leach. Ellie Leach, um, really good. For some reason, I thought she was doing an American Smooth, but I think it was a Foxtrot. It was and a Foxtrot. Yeah, it was really good. It was my mum's favourite, so there you go. It was my third favourite, I'd say. Oh, Okay. Yeah, I think she was definitely up there for me as well. <clears throat> yeah, I did my I did another ranking. Go check it out on my TikTok, okay? Because it's not done as you know, well 
does. I mean, I know it's only been, you know, like six hours, but, you know, please go check it out. Well, I know. And I saw our TikTok up there as well. It didn't get that many views, though. So no. maybe our next one will get more views. Yeah, I, when I did the ranking today, I was I, I turned off the comments. I've, I've, I've only literally just turned the comments on because I didn't want anyone leaving spoilers in my comment section. Oh, right. People think they're cute if they'd be like, oh, it would suck so much if this person went out and then just, you know, give it away. Yeah. Don't do that, okay? We... And if you're one of those people who's watching, just don't do that, okay? You don't realise how much it spoils the enjoyment of viewing for some people. Not everyone wants to know spoilers. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, then we have... Um... I'm trying to look at... We got, um... We've already talked about... Adam Hoover? Yes. What did you think? I mean, he didn't do the robots, so it was better than last week. Yes, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I thought I thought it was good. Um, I wrote that she fell apparently on a spin, which I kind of don't remember happening, but when, I wrote it down. I think that might have been for Zara. Zara I think of, Zara fell a bit on a spin. Oh, did she? Oh, wait, no, I remember Luba did, um, when she was doing the spin, she had to, like, pull herself up, if that makes sense. Huh. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I'll have to look back at that. Yeah, but I mean, something did I'm, happen. I might make a compilation. I'm, I might do a TikTok thing where I, I, I say, um, because, you know, when I, when I, I just remember, I remember Adam Peaty, he did a, um, dance to Manskin. I don't, ha- I don't know how to, how to pronounce it. Manskin. I'm just gonna say Manskin on, on Strictly. Do you remember that? No. <laughs> week one. No, I've got as good memory as you. <laughs> it was week one. Um, Adam did, I think, a cha 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 to um, Begin. Oh, okay, yeah. So now it's basically um, people called Adam dancing to Manskin on Strictly. Really? Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, I, I just noticed that. I'll, I'll, I'll do, I'll do a thing on TikTok about it. Um, yeah. Then we have. We've already talked about Amanda. Let's talk about. Okay. Oh, Krishnan. Oh, he was good. I thought he was good. And I was quite, I mean, it, it was funny. I mean, it did look like he was smiling through the pain, but he did do it. Uh, uh, no, you're not a fan. Uh, why? That song was so good. Why? <laughs> What was the song that he did it to? Love really hurts without you. Oh, I love that song. Yeah. Okay, what it, I will and say... And she was just shouting throughout it as well. Yeah, what I will say, Lauren, icon, she... I know, it's so funny. Look, She beautiful. was just talking throughout it. She's hilarious, shouting, and, you know, she looked beautiful. And yeah. I will. That's all I'll say because you know I. That's all I, I'm, I'm. That's that's all I'll say. What about um, <laughs> Eddie? I can't remember what dress she was wearing. It was like was... A denim. Oh one. yeah, it was like. Pardon? It was like denim. Yeah, it was like denim. Yeah, that was Sparkly it. Denim. So, not the best outfit, but it was nice. <laughs> um, Karen and I mean Eddie and Karen. Eddie and Karen. Um, I mean. I think it was, I thought it was good, but I think it was unfair that they were judging him based off of the choreography, which he literally had no control of. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, I remember we said this about um, last last year. The thing is, I mean, was there, was it really a cha-cha-cha? No. However, it was still a super fun dance. Yeah, and it wasn't his fault that it wasn't a cha-cha-cha. He wouldn't know what a cha-cha-cha is meant to look like. Yeah, like, you know, you can you know, realise that... You remember um, last year, Tyler's cha-cha-cha on Halloween? That wasn't really much cha-cha-cha, but it was still super fun. Yeah, exactly. Like, like that's the professionals, like, choreography, not the celebrities. Yeah. I mean, not like, I'm, not like I'm trying to say... Not like we're trying to, you know, attack Karen or anything, but, you know... Yeah, it, it, no, and he still gave it his all. He he's such a you know he has such a fun personality. And to be fair, I liked the choreography. So you know, yeah. Um, I mean, did you like it or not really? I mean, I didn't even realise. Like, I mean, I was just so entertained by his you know his personality and his performance. No, exactly. Yeah. Um. So, one Zara of Zara and Graziano. Yes, better than last week. 
Yes, better than last week, definitely. Yeah, I loved her reaction and the results show when she got through. Oh, yeah, she was so shocked. Yeah, I love that song as well. Yeah, what was the song? It was, you know, George Ezra. Oh, yeah, I love that song as well. Yeah. It was good. I mean, and she did improve. Yeah, sometimes when I, when I, you know, when I, when I, because I've, cre- I've created a strictly play, a strictly playlist when like, so I spent the entire week like on the bus every day listening to the songs and I'm just getting so excited because now I basically know all the words off by heart and I just get, <laughs> ex- and I, basically I, I just sometimes like, you know, instead of watch, I watch the dance and I sing along sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know the words, so I, I can't sing along. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, yeah, um... Yeah, I'm interested to see what she does next week because she definitely improved. Yes, definitely. Yeah, um, Angela too. and Carlos. Yes, they Im- she improved a lot. She was so good. I thought it was really good. I thought the dance really suited her. I thought it was undermarked. Undermarked, yeah, definitely. Yeah, she like. I, I mean, you you said last week that you thought she'd be better off at like jive. Yes. I did, didn't I? Yeah, so... And I think she was. <laughs> and then we got my second favourite dance of the night, Angela and Kai. Oh, what? My favourite... I think they're my favourite couple. Well, her and uh, and Annabelle. Her and Annabelle are my favourites. And Bobby. And Bobby. Oh, yeah, sorry. And Bobby. Her, Annabelle, Bobby and Jodie. They're my four favourites. Yeah, I mean, I... I... That that song that was a cheeky song choice. <laughs> you make me feel so what young. Song then? Can you remind me of the song? You make me feel so young. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, but I mean, she just is such a good dancer. Yeah, she's 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 so good. I mean, I lo- I love the dance and I love so the... elegant as well. Yeah, I think she's gonna go far. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, we said I that really about do. we said that about most people. <laughs> yeah, we have, but you know, hopefully she will go far. Yeah, my my dad thinks that um, Kai. I mean, I don't know if you, well, I don't know if you will understand. I'll put a split screen up right now. But um, my dad thinks that Kai looks a bit like Seth MacFarlane. I don't know who that is, but oh. I'll, I'll I'll trust you. <laughs> Watch the video and then tell me after. Okay, I will. <laughs> okay, but, and then. Um, you- you know, Kai. Apparently, he's becoming the new, um, the new Anton. Yeah, I was going to say that. I, I, I forgot Angela's that. amazing, so I don't think he is. No, as in they put. They mean as in like they put him with like the older ladies. Yeah, but I do think he actually will be the new Anton. As in, like he, yeah, good, he is nice going to be the older people. Anton, so you know, it's not like a bad thing anyway. Yeah. Um, what about Leighton and Nikita? Wow. They did look good. Yeah, amazing. I mean, he did look like a professional. You've got to give him that. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, I really like Leighton. I know I said I really like Leighton. I really love Leighton. I really think yeah. that I would get on very well with him. But that's the thing is, I think because of this whole, you know, debacle about him, you know, and his dance experience... I think he might be the one that, you know, he's very good, but then he does end up in a few dance-offs toward the, towards the end. Yeah, I think so. But I think he'll still get far, like, possibly even to the final, because he is so good. Yeah. So, like, even if he will be in the dance off because of the, like, whole dance experience stuff, he'll still get far because he's good. So he'll be voted three by the judges, probably. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm still sticking with the same top four. As from last week. Okay, so who's that? Bobby, Nigel, Leighton and Ellie. Yeah. Nigel, Leighton and Ellie, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, yeah, Bobby to win. And, okay, update on the whole Diane situation. <laughs> yeah. Um, I haven't found that many more signs. So, um, okay. So, <clears throat> I found three more signs since we last spoke, so... Signs of this is going to be, you know, the year that she wins. Um, yeah. Number 23. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Second dance, they like Charleston. As you know, um, yeah. Diana's kind of also a Charleston queen. If you remember, you know, Joe's Charleston. 
Yeah, I do know. And yeah, obviously Tyler Charleston, iconic. Iconic. Yeah. Um, people don't talk about that dance enough. It got the first tens of the series. Can you please talk about that dance? It was amazing. Um, it was so good. Yeah, and twenty five, no twenty four. I did put like another um one in there, but I decided to cancel it because it's not really a sign. So twenty four, <laughs> the um the song that Bobby and Diane did the Charleston to is "Do Your Thing." Oh, okay. If you remember, that's the song that Joe did the Lindy Hopathon to. Oh, how did you? How do you know this? Well, I just someone pointed out, and also I looked it up, and um, <laughs> that's been done quite a lot. Quickly, hang on, let me just check. That's do your thing. That's been done. Um, that is very good. Yeah, like two two weeks in a row, the song that Diane danced to is is something that has some kind of related relation to Joe. Oh wow! So maybe they're putting hints towards us, you know? Yeah, like two weeks in a row. Like one is like you know, just maybe just a coincidence. But secondly, okay, do your thing. Um. Okay, it's not. Hang on. Um. Peter, Andre, and Jeanette, Charleston to do your thing. Oh okay. Bobby Brazier dances to do your thing. Lindy Hopper Hopperton <laughs> to do your thing. Um. And then we've got Strictly Professionals, Do Your Thing, from nine years ago. Wow. So, yeah. Um, That's a lot. That song's popular. Yeah, like, it's, it's I don't know, it's just a, it's a sign. It's a sign. That's why I've written it down. It's a sign. It's a sign. A hundred percent. Fine, I'm 25. Um, Neil, he's been continuing doing his polls. And he did a poll. <laughs> what, um... Yeah, Gin- Gingerland, Neil's broadcast channel. Um, before the show, he does like these things like saying, what did you think of the dance? Um, but he said, um, which couple do you feel has the best connection so far? And, four, and the huge majority of people said Bobby and Diane. Oh, wow. Okay. Best connection. Yeah, like a friend's connection, I'm hoping. Brother and sister, obviously. But you... I know some people, you know, when when people say about them being partnered up because of their height difference, it's like, like kind of awkward. But yeah. is, it's not just about height difference because, you know, Bobby, he needs someone. He like It's also about personality. Yeah. They need, like, he, he said he's, he's kind of, you know, he's kind of a, you know, goofball. That's why they need to prank him up with someone else who's got, you've got that kind of similar sense of humour. Yeah. That's why they put. And him they with, do work well together. That's why I put. That's why they put him with Diane. I think that's so. And they, it doesn't matter. Like I'd rather, you know, I'd rather have you know the part, the partners, you know, getting on with each other, you know, very well, rather than you know. And yeah. I mean, yeah. Yes, the height difference is kind of a small issue. I mean, they might. I can't imagine that they're gonna have to put Diane on the tallest heels ever at some point. <laughs> but you know, it doesn't really matter because they're such a you know such a great partnership and like they're a brother and sister, like they said. So like. Yeah, exactly. Also, if I, anyone who thinks that I agree. anyone who thinks that Diane is going to cheat on Joe with Bobby, please get a life. Yeah, I mean, I don't think she will. Not, I think she's very happy with Joe. Like this with all of her partners, <laughs> except for maybe Robert. Yes, like every yeah, except year. for Robert. Like, oh, but they have said that about all of them. Yeah, she's cheating on Joe with Dev. She's cheating on Joe with Max. She's cheating on Joe with Tyler. You were like that last year, I remember. Oh yeah, I was well. I didn't think she was actually, but I was worried. Let's say. <laughs> I don't think you need to worry about anything. She's not. Gonna, I don't think she's going to cheat on Joe. Not with Bobby, at least. <laughs> Probably not with anyone. No, I especially not with Bobby. Well. I mean, they, they, they they're more like brother and sister. Yeah, I think they, they literally friend zoned each other like on national TV on the first day. Like, I don't think you need to worry. How did they friend zone each other? Well, they just right off the bat say like, "You're my, you're my little brother. You're my big sister." Like, right off the bat. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you don't, you don't need to worry so... about anything. It's fine. They're fine. And, you know, fingers crossed, all of our predictions come true, and, you know, they're going to win. I hope so. Fingers crossed. And then maybe, you know... <laughs> but we'll have to find out and see who's through to next week. Yeah, and but you know, my, the my, theory, my theory of, you know, if, you know, they might win, and so <laughs> Joe might put a ring on it. Oh, well, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to see if they get through to the final. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. I'll tell you a whole different, like off offline. I'll tell you a whole story about how I think how I think that might play out. I've got, I can write a whole fan fiction about it. 
Okay, all right. I'm not gonna write, I'm not gonna say it on here though. I'm gonna I'll tell you separately. Okay. Okay, so um so I'm looking forward to hearing about it then. Wrap up, who do we who do you think's gonna be the next to go out? Who do I think um I'm gonna say Nikita. It's but for me it's probably it's definitely either Nikita or Jody. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. I think, sadly. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's not going to be, you know, anyone not going to be, you know, nobody's going to get Richie, so. Uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully. Yes. Yeah, so... Hopefully not. Although, probably, well, someone will go out, though. Well, yeah, that someone has to go out. That's just the way, that's just the way the competition works, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it's, it's having, hard. Can't be it's having harsh. two and a half hour shows every week. <laughs> I know it's 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 harsh, but someone has to go. Yeah. Um, Sadly. Yeah, you know, I really think. No, I, uh, okay. Yeah. What were you gonna say? I was saying I think Les should come back for uh, like a, a Christmas special. Yes. Yeah. We put that petition in. We want Les to come back for a Christmas special. Yeah. Um. So yeah, next week is movie week, the, aka the greatest week. Is, yeah, that's your favourite week. I mean, look at me. I'm, I'm, you know, movie fanatic. So, yes, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. You I'm, are. The thing is, I'm not gonna. I'm not me. gonna find out what the dances are. I'm gonna, you know, wait. I'm gonna not ignore the, the thing that comes up. I'm gonna, you know, cover my ears when it takes to. I don't want to. I don't want to know because I want to be surprised. Because you know, I like. I love when they come down the stairs and they're like. Surprise! Something to look forward to. Yeah, I love when they come down the stairs and I'm like, oh, so they're doing this, they're doing that. I like like being surprised for movie week. Fair enough. Yeah, we want to be surprised. It's something to look forward to as well. Hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, fun week. Um, Bobby to win, and um, yeah. So, guess that's it for strictly speaking week two. See you next week. Yeah. We'll see you next week. Week three. Yay. See you soon. <laughs>